Hi, I'm Tobias. I'm a professor at Isadi Business School in Barcelona. I'm a sustainability scholar. My background is a bit weird. I'm an environmental scientist, uh, got into social sciences, so um, yeah, a bit untypical for a business school. I would like to share a bit the journey of what I did in terms of research of the last 10 years and um, it basically started with a frustration um, about uh, the business case and business case thinking and it has to pay to be green, it has to pay to be socially responsible. Um, and if we look at what's happening in real world, um, some companies um, pretend to be socially responsible. Uh, this company's sustainability report is uh, titled Providing Sustainable Mobility. Um, we know how that ended. Uh, what really struck me more is at the same time they faced, uh, they had a record year, right? So apparently this link of being responsible and successful or irresponsible and less successful. Okay, that's just one case in point, but if you look at the bigger picture and uh, some socioeconomic trends, um, where we are going, so, so you see all this, it's hockey sticks all over the place, right? Um, and if we then look into uh, earth system trends, it's hockey sticks all over the place, right? So if we look into the bigger picture and, and the material reality that we're facing, um, it seems that uh, business as usual or enlightened business as usual might just not do the job. And um, this is a thing that concerns many sustainability scholars, or probably all sustainability scholars. Uh, with a couple of colleagues, we uh, then went into looking deeper into tensions and trade-offs, and we ended up with paradox. Okay. Um, we just had a session before and discussed paradox for like, I don't know, two hours, or something like that. So I'm really into it. The idea here is to say we might want to accept that there are competing issues in sustainability that we, at the same time, want to achieve at the same time, right? So we want to tackle climate change and world hunger and uh, equal opportunities and so on and so on. And if it was easy doing this by a business case, I guess there would be enough smart business people who would have done that right away. But the truth is, and we probably all know it, it's not that easy. And this is why um, uh, this paradox approach appeared fruitful to us and we worked on that over 10 years and there uh, have been some publications, an, an AMR publication in 2014, uh, Journal of Business Ethics, Journal of uh, Organization Studies, uh, nicely uh, picked up uh, by other scholars which makes us very happy but of course the question is where does this lead us, where we, do we go from here and this is where I would like to spend the rest of, of, of this, uh, this talk here. We try to come up with a definition of what we understand with a paradoxical approach to uh, sustainability, so the focus is really on, eventually, on the outcomes. So uh, this paradox lens is supposed to be a means towards an end, and hopefully a better means towards the end of more sustainability. That might be questionable, that can be challenged, that's perfectly fine, but that is the definition we we're coming up with. Um, yeah. So, in paradox theory there is this difference oftentimes between either or thinking and both and thinking. And in either or thinking would see trade-offs and sustainability. And these trade-offs they might be fixed with finding business cases. So these are solved. They go away. Right? So we get rid of the problem because we have can have both. Right? We can be successful financially and socially and environmentally. A paradox perspective would not adopt such an adopt uh, such a resolution uh, logic. It's a both end logic, both competing poles persist over time and you've seen from Mariah's slides this oscillating wave and that's exactly what a paradox approach would suggest that we oscillate between those two poles or multiple poles that we see in sustainability. Where does this take us? This notion of creative tension is a very central one if we talk about a paradox perspective to sustainability, that you keep up and accept that there are things that go, don't go well together, but at the same time, we want to have them together. Right? So the message of a paradox approach would be by accepting these contradictions, you might find ways to work through those contradictions and to overcome those contradictions. Right? In terms of future research, this is coming from a, an editorial of a special issue we've been doing. Um, now, maybe the ice is broken for a paradox approach, so we need to push this out of its infancy. So we need 
several perspectives on it. So uh, most of the research out there is descriptive so far. Right? So we try to understand how do people, managers, organizations tackle these issues? How do they respond? There's a lot of descriptive work out there. Of course, there can be instrumental work. What are the outcomes? Can it be generative for our sustainability outcomes if we address problems with a paradoxical mindset? And uh, there's a huge field of, uh, of potential studies, empirical studies, to establish what are the outcomes if we, if we adopt paradoxical thinking. There's a, uh, recently a, a scale on paradoxical thinking that has been published in AMJ, so that lends itself to apply it also in a sustainability context. And of course, there are questions about the normative um, uh, underpinnings of a paradox perspective. You say, if you accept contradictory aspects, on which normative grounds do you do that? And if you strike a balance, and if you go forth and back between opposing things, what are the normative underpinnings of doing that? What are acceptable outcomes to take into consideration when you say, OK, we accept competing ones? If you have competing uh, outcomes of um, different agricultural uh, practices in terms of addressing uh, fuel crops and uh, food crops, right? There are contradictions that have strong moral underpinnings. Right? And then I won't go into detail. Of course, we discussed the interdependencies of those different perspectives uh, that could fruitfully um, motivate each other's uh, in further uh, theory. Um, there are two research ideas I would like to highlight. Um, I'm not actually, well, in some way I'm working on them, but not, I mean, that's too broad for one paper, but that's just two areas that I find personally very intriguing and attractive. One is really looking inside the organization and started with this relative dearth of research on a bottom-up emergent perspective of sustainability strategies. We're still tend to think about sustainability strategies of a heroic leader who has this enlightenment moment and then deploys it throughout the organization. If you adopt the bottom-up perspective, this can be very fruitfully married with this paradox thing because when you are a simple employee and you want to fight your way through with a sustainability idea in your organization, you are probably facing a lot of resistance and, and, and contradictions and, and conflicts. So from a paradox perspective, um, and also lending uh, ideas from practice theory where paradox has been applied uh, already. I think that's a very fruitful source for future research into a paradox perspective sustainability. The other one is um, adopting a systems perspective because we all know we talk sustainability. Eventually, we're interested in material outcomes in the world out there. And the world out there is systemic, right? So. Uh, at the same time, we have in paradox theory this idea of nested and interwoven paradoxes. So we not just have one clinical, very clear duality between point A and point B, and the rest is like all sorted out. In reality, obviously, we have all kinds of relationships floating around, and they might be interrelated across levels and nested and knotted. There are different metaphors being used in literature, but that's even in the paradox theory uh, literature. It's very early stage, but I think it's a very fruitful perspective for us sustainability scholars to adopt this lens um, and to, to come, with, come up with a better understanding of the systemic relationships that we face around us, around our organizations. So um, maybe to go back to this opening question, does it pay to be green? From a paradox perspective, you would go forth and back between those questions. Does it pay to be green or does it green to pay? Does it pay to be green or does it green to pay? It's an ongoing oscillation. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you.